hello everyone in this video we're going to learn how to calculate ndvi from a raster image we are going to calculate ndvi here in this video from a landsat image and simply normalized difference vegetation index or ndvi is a numerical indicator which helps us to understand the amount of vegetation present in a certain area from satellite images we can simply get to know the visitation contents where the visitation contents content is high and the areas with low visitation content simply ndvi helps for forest monitoring uh, crop type identification etc this is the formula to calculate ndvi you can see that we will be needing band 5 and band 4 image of Landsat. Remember that this formula is applicable for both Landsat 8 and Landsat 9. Simply to calculate the NDVA, first of all, we will be needing the Landsat images. I have downloaded this Landsat images. We will be needing the 4, band 4 and band 5 to calculate NDVA. I am simply dragging it in the table of contents. Now simply rename it so that you can input them in the formula in a easy way. I am just clicking it once and after some time I am clicking, clicking it another time to rename it. Now I am going to the search panel and typing raster calculator. and after we get the raster calculator we will simply input the formula here the formula is band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4 so remember as NDVI might this this is a uh, index value and it might appear in fraction decimal fractions so that's why we have to give the float while inputting the formula then we will simply input the formula from there band 5 minus band 4 divided by and we will uh, for the denominator we will again use float and give band 5 plus band 4 so remember float uh, have to be used because if you don't use float here your result might come incorrect your output raster will be will not be correct if you do not use the float okay simply you have to now save the output raster or output image this is the connected folder and I will simply save my output here let's give it a name with the NDVI after clicking OK after some time uh, my process has been done and you can see NDVI here the result raster has been in here and you can see that the values are actually showing the high visitation and low visitation that is this is and this is the index values if you change the symbology from here let's give it a monochrome if you give this color simply you can see that these areas are l less in visitation coverage and the darker green colors have are high in visitation these are the areas with high visitation and this area is with low visitation actually this is a water body and water bodies doesn't have visitation now if you want to uh, cut or simply clip the result according to your study area you can do this I have I have simply dragged a projector study area and I will use this extract by mask tool to cut or clip the uh, raster according to my study area I will simply I'll try to name it with spaces and you can see that if I try to save it it's uh, giving me a warning that you cannot have spaces while renaming your file so remember it 
let's give it another name you can see after saving it's also giving a warning that your uh, name cannot be longer than 13 13 characters so simply I am giving it a smaller name and after saving it my you can see that my process is running and this way you can simply cut your study area uh, you, the raster file according to your study area remember the shape file that you will be using while um, doing this extract by mask formula remember your uh, polygon shape or your study area shape have to be projected correctly okay this is the output you can see final output and the you can simply convert it into layout view to make it make a map from here and if you want to calculate the area with high visitation and the areas with low visitation it also can be done i will show you it in another video this is for all thank you